Hi, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today in this video, we are diving into a topic that is crucial for modern home and office, but often cause a bit of confusion: <laughs> wireless access point versus routers. Now let's clear up the mystery and help you understand the key differences between these two essential networking devices. And if you are struggling with a tech problem or need help designing your perfect home or office network, we are here to help. We are giving out free tech design consultation to help you get the most out of your devices. So feel free to send us your questions through the link down in the description box below. So let's start with the router. Now this is the backbone of your network, and it connects directly to your modem, and then brings internet from your service provider into your home and office. And from there, the router distributes the internet to all your devices wirelessly or through Ethernet cable. And it also acts as a DHCP server. That means it can assign IP addresses to each of your device and ensuring they can communicate without conflict. Additionally, routers provide basic security through built-in firewalls, and there are different types of routers. There are consumer-grade and business-grade. Consumer-grade routers are designed for home use, offering easy setup and sufficient power for most household needs. And business-grade router, on the other hand, are more robust, offering advanced features like VLAN support, better security options, and the ability to handle more connection simultaneously. And next, let's talk about the wireless access point (WAPs). Unlike routers, WAPs don't route traffic or assign IP addresses. Instead, they extend the wireless coverage of your existing network. And a WAP connects to your router using Ethernet. And broadcast a Wi-Fi signal, and this is incredibly useful in a larger homes or offices where a single router signal can reach everywhere. And there are standalone WAPs and controller-based WAPs. Now, standalone wireless access point operate independently, making them simple and straightforward for smaller setup. And controller-based wireless access point, however, are managed centrally, ideal for large networks like those in offices or campuses where multiple WAPs need to work seamlessly together. So now that you know what they are, let's highlight the key differences between the routers and the wireless access points. Now, for functionality, think of a router as a combo device. A gateway plus wireless capability, while a wireless access point is purely for extending wireless coverage. And for placement in the network, a router is typically placed centrally to maximize its coverage, whereas wireless access points are distributed throughout the area to eliminate dead zones. And while a router has a specific range it can cover, the wireless access point expands this range and allowing for a more extensive and robust wireless network. For device management, a router directly manages all connected devices, handling IP assignments and traffic routing. And wireless access point rely on the router for these tasks, and functioning as extension to spread the signal further. And for the physical differences, as you can see, the router generally have multiple Ethernet ports for wire connections and offer various Wi-Fi bands. And the wireless access point, on the other hand, connects to the router using Ethernet and primarily focus on broadcasting a wireless signal. So for small homes, a single router might be all you need. It offers sufficient coverage and connectivity for the spaces. And in larger homes, 
adding a wireless access point can significantly enhance your network coverage, ensuring strong signal in every room. And for business network, especially in offices or large buildings, multiple wireless access points managed by a central router is the way to go. And this setup can ensure consistent and reliable connectivity across the entire space. So routers and wireless access point are both essential devices in networking. But now that we know they're totally different, a router is a device that connects multiple networks and direct data packet between them. It assigns IP addresses, manage traffic, and can provide security through firewalls and parental control. And they typically have built-in Ethernet port for wire connections and often offer wireless capability. On the other hand, a wireless access point extends the wireless coverage of an existing network, providing a bridge for wireless devices to connect to the network. And they do not route traffic between the network. Instead, they connect to a router or a switch using Ethernet and expanding the wireless range. So while routers handle the routing and management of data between different networks, the wireless access point focus solely on providing and extending wireless connectivity within the same network. So in a home, a wireless router provides both wire and wireless internet assets and it manages connection, assign IP addresses, and secure the network. But if the Wi-Fi signal from the router doesn't reach all the areas of the house, like basement or attic, a wireless access point can be installed in these areas and extend the coverage. And also in an office, the router connects the internal network to the internet and manages the internal traffic and secures the network. And multiple wireless access points can be placed strategically around the office to ensure that employees have strong Wi-Fi signal everywhere and supporting seamless connectivity for mobile devices, laptops, and other wireless equipment. And understanding the difference between routers and wireless access point it is important to setting up a reliable and efficient network. Now, whether you're a homeowner looking to eliminate Wi-Fi dead zone or a business needing robust connectivity, knowing when and how to use these devices can make all the difference. And looking ahead, now that we have technologies like Wi-Fi 6 and mesh networking. Now they're revolutionizing how we think about connectivity. Wi-Fi 6 offers faster speed and better performance in crowded environment. And mesh networking provides seamless coverage by using multiple devices that work together as a single network and eliminating dead zones and ensuring smooth transition as you move around. And thank you very much for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more tech insights. And I'll see you in the next video.